The other game tonight, Iowa and Tennessee, Hawkeyes coach Fran McCaffrey has more pressing concerns. His 13-year-old son, Patrick, having surgery today in Iowa City to remove a thyroid tumor. No word yet on whether the tumor is benign or malignant. McCaffrey hopes to be there for the surgery. He said this, my hope is, if I can, fly back for the surgery and then fly back for the game if I can work that out. We'll see logistically if we can pull all that together. Here's what his players had to say. Coach McCaffrey's our guy. We love him. Um, we're all like family. Pat is a guy that's basically at practice with us every day. So he's like our little brother. So um, I think as a unit, we will rally behind it. And um, yeah, hopefully we can. Um, everything goes well for them. We, they're, they're all in our prayers. So um, I know, like you said, he's in a tough spot. So we're just trying to make, his, make this as um, simple and easy for him as possible. So for all the excitement of March Madness, we talk about it a lot. This is certainly a reality check, a perspective check. We got Digger Phelps here with us. And we know how tied in basketball coaches are with their team, especially at this time of year. But obviously, this is of far greater importance, what his son is going through right now. How do you, how do you balance your responsibilities as a coach with your responsibilities as a father? Fran was head coach at Lehigh. And did a great job at Lehigh. Actually, they upset Temple that year when he was there getting ready to get to the NCAA tournament. And he calls me up when one of my assistants had 12 assistants in 20 years, of which 11 became Division I head coaches. The other guy, Jeff Nix, ended up with the New York Nix as an assistant. But he wanted to come out to learn the big-time level and what it was like. So I hired him as an assistant. And uh, he stayed there. And under John McLeod, he left to go to Greensboro and then to Siena. And now he's at Iowa. Uh, he met his wife, Margaret, who played basketball at Notre Dame, and she's a pretty good basketball player. But watching those two to come together and watching them start to have their children, of which they have four, and then Patrick, who's now 13, all of a sudden they find out he's got a tumor on his thyroid. And uh, shocking, disturbing to, as you can see, what Roy Devin Marble said, as well as what Fran decided to do, you know, go back, be with them, go through the surgery, see what comes out of that surgery, and see what the doctors say once they get that tumor out, to see if he can fly back and coach the team tonight. And if not, he's staying. He's going to be with the family, and they got to go through this and see what's going on. But more importantly, um, his team is his second family. When you're a head coach, you're a father to those players. I used to get these guys at the age of 18 and get four years to get them ready for manhood before they go into the NBA. Um, and so you're a father and a coach to his second team. And if it's okay tonight, maybe if the bay, if Patrick's okay and that, that tumor is, is something they got to examine because even with my cancer, it takes two or three days before they get the biopsy back to see what's the extent of it. He could fly back to coach the game tonight, get on a plane, fly back home to be with Margaret and the three other kids. And if they're going to stay tonight in the hospital um, with Patrick, do it. But more importantly, it's... A reality check when all of a sudden you have a crisis hit a family and it's so tough I mean I'm a cancer survivor twice and give it to me I'm an adult but keep it away from kids and that's what's sad so our prayers go with Fran and Margaret and I'm especially Patrick and I, I've left two messages with them to today and I'm waiting to hear back to see what we all can do to help get this crisis over with obviously we all wish the McCaffrey family all of our best unbelievably difficult situation I, I, would, I could not imagine what his mental state would be coaching a basketball game after watching his son go through surgery. H how about the players? I mean, we, we heard what they had to say there. D does this knock them off emotionally, or is it, is it a cause to rally around? Does it change what's going on? Two things. I think once the game starts, you're into the game. And I, I would even think Fran would be into the game if he did coach tonight. The players know this is something special, especially if he's there or if he isn't there. They've got to win this game against Tennessee. That's what it's all about. It has nothing to do with the NCAA tournament. It's let's win this game against Tennessee for Pat, who they love as one of their own. They got T-shirts made up that says PMAC for Patrick McCaffrey. Uh, there, there's going to be a lot more Hawkeye fans tonight than there has been before as people hear about this story and start rooting for the McCaffreys and this, this whole team. Digger Phelps with us today on SportsCenter. And we can now update this story. Apparently, Fran McCaffrey is now on a plane heading back to Dayton, Ohio. He released this statement. Today's surgery for my son Patrick went as planned. Doctors will continue tests in the coming days to determine further treatment. 
Patrick was in good spirits after the operation. The outpouring of support and encouragement Patrick and our family have received this past week has been overwhelming. Words cannot express how genuinely thankful we are to everyone who has offered their thoughts and prayers.